Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chow Vin Sung. Welcome to our Healthy Eyes, Healthy Life series. In this video, let's talk about trabeculectomy, a type of glaucoma surgery. Glaucoma is a condition in which the eye pressure is too high and irreversibly damages the eye nerve. Trabeculectomy is a commonly performed glaucoma surgery worldwide. This procedure creates a new pathway for fluid to drain out of the eye, hence reducing eye pressure. In this surgery, the eye surgeon makes an incision in the conjunctiva, the outermost layer covering the white part of the eye. A small flap is created in the sclera, which is the white outer wall of the eye. A small piece of tissue under the flap is removed, which allows fluid from inside the eye to flow out. The flap is then placed back down and stitched. This protects against too much fluid from draining, which will cause the eye pressure to be too low. A few weeks after the surgery, the stitches can be subsequently removed or lasered to increase fluid flow if the eye pressure increases. After trabeculectomy, the fluid flows out from the eye into a reservoir underneath the conjunctiva, called a blab. The blab is covered by the eyelid and is not usually visible. Trabeculectomy is an outpatient procedure performed in the day surgery theatre. If you are on blood thinners, you may need to stop them before the surgery. Your eye will be numbed with an injection around the eye. Intravenous medications may also be given to help you to be more relaxed. In most cases, you will be able to go home on the same day. You may want to plan for someone to take you home after the procedure and avoid driving home by yourself. After the procedure, you will be prescribed antibiotic and steroid eye drops to prevent infection and scarring. These eye drops may be required for several months and it is important to use them regularly as your doctor has instructed. Keep your eye clean, do not swim, and cover your eye with a shield when you sleep. Avoid heavy lifting or vigorous exercises until your eye pressure is stable. While trabeculectomy is one of the most effective glaucoma surgeries for lowering eye pressure, results can vary between individuals. Potential complications of trabeculectomy include leakage of fluid from the blab or the conjunctiva, low eye pressure, bleeding inside the eye, cataract, droopy eyelids, dry eyes or eye discomfort, loss of vision and eye infections. The tissue over the blab can be very thin, making it susceptible to infections and this risk can be lifelong. Hence, trabeculectomy is usually offered to those with advanced glaucoma. It is also possible that scarring around the surgery site prevents fluid from draining well. This increases the eye pressure again and if left untreated, the glaucoma will get worse. Failure of trabeculectomy from scarring is more common in those who have been using glaucoma eye drops for many years, whose eyes are inflamed and red before trabeculectomy, and those with an aggressive skin scarring response. A procedure to break the scar tissue can be performed or a different glaucoma surgery may be required. Besides trabeculectomy, there are other options for glaucoma surgery. Please watch these videos to find out more about the other types of glaucoma surgery. I hope that you enjoyed this video about trabeculectomy. Please subscribe to our channel to find out more about the other types of glaucoma surgery and about important eye conditions. Till then, I wish you healthy eyes and a healthy life.